here and in this video I'm going to explain you one interesting method which is this okay the method name is show message dialog okay and uh, this method is again stored in the predefined class g option pane okay uh, so unlike show input dialog the show message dialog displays something on screen and that too in the form of a message so right now we have been using system.out.println method to display our output and this is an alternative to that method method okay so let us test it and before we uh, make changes in the program let me explain the syntax of this method the first thing that you write inside the bracket is null okay now why we are writing null here uh, actually you will not get you actually will not understand it right now uh, I will explain it later okay so just let it be there and after comma you have to write the message that you want to display on the screen inside the double quotes or you can simply put the variable name so if you're writing a message it will display it as it is and if you're writing a variable name it will display its value okay so this is how it looks and let us test it now so this is the addition of two numbers program that we did in the last lecture and as you can see I have used system.out.println method to print the output so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete it and in place of this I'm going to use the show message dialog method so let's do it so j option pane dot show message dialog and inside the bracket what you have to write null okay then put a comma and then whatever you have to display so in this case I am going to display the value of C so I will write C here and I'll put semicolon okay and that's it this program is ready we can save it and now we are going to test it so we need to compile it first and the program name was addition 2 dot Java so it compiled successfully and now we can run it to see if it works so it is asking me a value so let us enter 100 here now it is asking a second value let it be 200 and now just observe what happens when I click OK that's it so this is kind of looking good kind of a message okay and it displays the value 300 which is of course the result of this program and uh, this time it appears in the form of a message so this is exactly what show message dialog method does okay and after hitting ok button your program is will actually terminate so this is how this method works the show message dialog now let us do one more experiment with this okay since uh, we are getting uh, uh, very limited detail in the output let me show it to you uh, let me run it one more time if I enter 100 and 200 again and this is the output now what if I want to display something like the result is 300 or the addition is 300 okay uh, which directly means I want to add some text before this result 300 so that is what we are going to do now so how do we do it just before this variable C okay you have to write whatever you want to display inside the double quotes so the addition is and 
and then the double quotes is closed okay and right after closing this double quote you have to use the plus sign okay so what this is doing is it will print this message as it is because it is written inside the double quotes and then it will attach the value of c with it okay so if the value of c is suppose 300 it will be displayed as the addition is 300 now right after this is you have to give some space okay i am giving it one space because uh, it will it will simply attach the value right after this s okay and that's what i don't want so this is perfect now uh, let us save it and see if it works this is our command prompt and here i'm going to compile it so java c addition to dot java hit compile and java addition to so it is asking a value let us enter 100 and click ok let us enter another value as 200 and click ok and now just observe this output it is showing as the addition is 300 and that looks much better than the previous output okay so how did we do it by attaching this message with the value okay so remember this technique for the upcoming program so i hope uh, you have understood uh, all the concepts discussed in this program well and uh, i hope you have enjoyed watching this video so do let me know if you have any questions regarding uh, these methods that we have used so far so thank you so much once again do like and subscribe